Do you know where you are? What month it is, what year? Whatever you're running from, we'll find you here. Well, I look for something that's original. Or if you're going to do an exorcism movie, like with The Last Exorcism, something that's a fresh take on it. You know, no one had ever done it before in the documentary style. And the idea that it wasn't just that, it was someone's confessional. Someone who does these phony exorcisms is going to confess how they've been tricking people. And then they go to this house and it turns out that it actually is something very real. That I thought was a great idea. No one's tried to contact you. You know, with Last Exorcism 2, we, we, the first film, the first Last Exorcism, if we could call it that, it um, only cost a million and a half dollars, and opening weekend made 20 million. So everyone was asking us, what's the next one? What's the next one? And obviously, if we'd planned the next one, we wouldn't have called it The Last Exorcism. Um, but we spent a long time really thinking through very carefully and thinking about the story. And the breakthrough was when we came up with the idea to use the first film basically as a viral video that exists in the second film. So that way people recognize now and they go, oh, you're the girl that breaks your fingers and do the back bend. So they all know who she is, but she has absolutely no memory of what happened to her. And then slowly these things start to come back and, and start to haunt her. Now, 